So does anybody remember this game? Game from 1991 or something like that called Spore, where we swim around the primordial soup trying to evolve our creature the best we can. And I thought of something interesting. What would happen if we used AI to evolve our creature even better? So I talked nicely to the AI bot and I said, please generate me five different creatures that I could potentially create in Spore. And it spit out a list of things and I threw that list of things into another image creation software called Midjourney and it created a couple different fun creatures for me. So we have the Morphle Fluff. This guy, he's kind of incredible. Maybe a little bit dangerous, I'm not sure. Then the Quirkle Quack, which just kind of looks like a regular dodo bird. And the Ziggle Wiggle, look at that dude. I would, I would totally love a, a stuffy of him. Kind of reminds me of that creature from uh, Satisfactory. Here, this thing though. I think this is called the Squiggle Snort. That could actually work really well for a spore creature. And then finally is the Puddle Pluffs. These look like jellyfish and I don't know if I'll be able to create it, but that is incredibly cool. But I think we should go with this Squiggle Snout. He looks pretty good. So I think our little fella here is pretty close to a Squiggle Snout, except he's got little chompy bits on the front and his squiggly bit is on the end. We need to evolve him even further. So let's mate. Oh, hello there, pretty lady. It's time to combine our DNA strands. Is that how it works? I don't really want to know how it works. But if we have the fusion between an anteater and a jellyfish, this is going to get really weird really quickly. That's kind of what the uh, jellyfish mouth looks like. And I would imagine that a flagella is what a jellyfish would have. Hmm, or spikes. Do jellyfish have spikes? I mean, anteaters kind of do. But that's not a good mouth for us. This species is going to be called the squiggle spout if I can learn how to spell. And he needs little tiny pokey things on him. Ooh, that's kind of good. Let's change the color. I like it, a creation has been reborn. A Little bit worse this time, but it can move faster, so we have that going for us. Eat, my precious, eat the little jellyfish food pieces. We're a product of our surroundings. There's way more food in this evolutionary tree if we go the green route. Unless, of course, we do become a predator with our uh, flagella, is that what they're called? The little wiggly face bits. I don't know what that thing is down below. I'm scared of it, though. Oh, I just evolved yet again. My goodness, there's a lot of creatures here. That's a... Oh, here we go. I found the salad bar. I'm about to end this entire buffet's career just devouring every single aspect of it. Oh, it's delicious. Organic, free, natural food. Oh, yes. Oh, wow, I can even eat more of it. Hello, weird butterfly wing creature. Now I am a little bit scared. These butterfly wing creatures have stabby bits on them. Whoa! That one's got the anteater snout on it. I should follow it around and steal its DNA if it ever gets eaten. Oh, my word. Yes, yes. I want these two to fight. That wasn't good, bro. What did I ever do to you? I hope you get eaten and then I can steal your sucker antenna on the front of you. I've also noticed that at this stage of our life, there is way, way less food pellets. Hello, never mind. There's more over here. Can I eat this? I'm just gonna nom right here on these little... I don't even know what they would be called, but I'm gonna eat them all. Oh yeah, evolving again. Ow, I got poked. Let's go find one with less people trying to eat it. I like green leafies. That works. Ooh, evolving again. Can I just go right back? What are those things? Can I have one? I really want one. Uh, hello? There's a... No, stay away. What is that? I got spit poison. That's not how we're supposed to evolve. I really want that thing on your nose. Can I have it? I'm way behind in the evolutionary journey too. I really need some defense or something. Oh, don't kill all my family. We have babies to create. All right, so I can spit poison using these things. I kind of want to. Let's remove those flagellas. And I can add more somewhere else. That's weird looking. That's not too bad. I want some face facial flagella. Yes, more like that. I also want some spiky boys because everything is dangerous to me. Ah, uh, nice. We spawned right by another salad bar. Oh, look at the size of that big grape guy. He's like Grimace. We're gonna do the Grimace shake. Oh, I'm so slow though now. At least I have defense. No, stay away, Chompy. Ow, 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 ow. There's another meteor shard. Hot dang, we're going for it. No, I need that. I need that. No, 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 no. There's evolution juice in there. You jerk. Oh, don't worry. You just spawned right back here. Let me into it. Give me that. Oh, cool. That gives me some fast turning abilities. So let's put some of these things on. Oh, those kind of look like the legs from the guy. Do I need as many spikes? That's the real question. Or can I afford more spikes? That's the other real question. I do need more speed though. So maybe I get rid of these back spikes and put on more wiggly legs. That should be pretty good. We'll see. I wonder if I slim down a little. I feel like I don't need this thing either. 
Let's get more speed. And if we are gonna evolve again, we might as well grab another color. Okay, that kind of looks cool. Oh yeah, he's so much faster. There it is. That's the part I'm looking for. The suction tube. Okay, I just need to chase this guy and stab him in the butt a couple dozen times until he drops his DNA. Oh, they're fighting back. It's okay, I can also fight back. Maybe I shouldn't be back here. I can't see what's happening, but I don't like it. Because that guy is like dropping his juices. No, you're not allowed to live. Give me that. I need that. I need the proboscis. I'm gonna become like a, I don't even know, like a butterfly? Is that what uses proboscis is? Now we're gonna mate over its corpse. That's awkward, but that's what evolution's all about. Now, unfortunately, I can't have two mouths, so we'll just plop that on the front. We're gonna move one of these wiggly things up here. And now that's looking like our little creature, our squiggle spout. Also, omnivore is like the best thing in this game because we can drink plant juice and animal juice. That's kind of blood, I think. I'm not an expert in animalology, but yeah, we're just gonna eat that, bro. We've acquired a taste for blood. I also think our next evolutionary chapter, we have to lose the spikes because those don't make sense anymore. And speaking of next evolutionary chapter, our brain is growing. We had protein for breakfast. These poor little creatures just came out of where we evolved. And now we have a path to sentience. So we went almost full herbivore road. And it's time to go now to the next generation. To landfall, finish the cell stage and clamber onto the planet's surface. That means we get legs. That's what clambering means, I think. So we're gonna change out uh, these delicious spikes for leggy boys. We only can have one leg now. I'm like an insectoid, I need like 12. What do I have to get rid of? Do we get rid of the other spike too? So I can buy another leg? Is that how evolution works? I need 50 DNA for that. Isn't there a cheat in this game? Oh yeah, I can just add DNA a whole bunch. And uh, not NDA. And that should give me enough points to grow more legs, which is awesome because I mean, we need them. I also wanna make them smaller. Can we make you smaller? Bring you down closer to the ground. Your feet are giant. I'm sorry to feet shame you. Don't worry, I have that problem too, buddy. We'll make you looking all the better. Okay, brontosaurus, maybe I should use, nope, it's gotta be the fantella. Those gotta be the smaller ones. Okay, that's that's actually looking really solid. One thing we do need to do is evolve that face forward a little bit. If I can, I can pull back, yeah, 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 we'll do this. And then can I turn it down a little bit? Just like so, that's beautiful. We'll evolve your eyes to the side of your head and give you some flagella on your face. I still feel like we need to stay like a little bit true to our evolutionary self and keep those spikes on too, especially now that I know how to cheat and get more DNA. We have to check a good pattern of colors that makes it look like it. That's actually not too bad. Hot oh, dang, that's creepy. I think we're getting a little closer as we crawl our little jellyfish anteater self out of the ocean, call to our friends and then head to land. It's working, it's working. I don't actually know how many legs a squiggle snout has, but I think AI is definitely treating us well right now. Now we just run around trying to find like dead body parts from all over the ground. Give me that. It's a different mouth type. We don't need that. What I really need is some food. Can I have some food? Yes. Just get that from the tree. That worked really well. Not gonna lie, I am a little bit concerned about later stages of this creature, <laughs> but I'm not as concerned as huh? I don't even know what this is. But hi, friend. This guy definitely lost the evolutionary journey, but I'll sing his song to him like <laughs> squiggle snouts do. Oh, he likes it. Are we friends now? Can I eat you? Oh, they're impressed by my singing skills. Don't worry, I'll do it again. We're friends now. Would these guys also like to be my friends? Yeah, they want singing. Great. We're making friends all day long. They're also omnivores. You can tell by their face. Now they gave me wizened eyeballs. All right. Good job, thank you. These creatures forgot to evolve legs, so I'm just gonna try to be their friends too, since we share a lot of the same body parts. Oh my goodness, what kind of creatures did I find over here? This fellow's got wings, and there's an entire dead corpse there. <laughs> that also reminds me of some of the creatures that AI wanted me to make. Oh, they're gonna have a straight up war. There are some things you just don't ask questions about. This is one of them. I have no idea what that creature is, but he is vibing hard right now. There's no way I can be his friend. All right, time to leave you. I have strayed way too far away from my home nest where the creatures are a little easier to impress. Oh yeah, I just evolved new arms and legs. This is good, this is good. Hey, my brain's getting bigger. <laughs> I now has two brain cells in it. Speaking of creatures with only one brain cell, this guy's got three eyes and I don't like him. Although he's gonna be my ally because I get DNA points for it. Okay, this guy doesn't like me very much. He's got an electric tail, but if I dance properly and sing the proper songs, he will be my friend. 
This is good. I'm actually surprised with that. I don't want to talk to an alpha, but I'll definitely talk to a regular Eeyore. They have a lot of things around here on the ground too. Good, good. I need to get, I need to impress one more. I'd rather just take your DNA parts. He's my friend, he's my friend. That's an alpha. He's also sort of friend. The babies are much easier to impress. Hey, come back here. I'm trying to dance at you. Very good. We have new our allies. These fellows are 25. I don't think I'll be able to talk to them, but I'm getting lots of DNA points from them anyway. Look at these little fellas. <laughs> They're awesome looking. They got like fans of, I don't even know, fishball girl. That's what their name is. Someone was very, very, uh, used the AI on that one. Give me a name of a creature, fishball girl. Good job, game. Oh, this is wonderful. It's time to tussle the nest again and uh, extend our DNA line. Oh yeah, look at that sweet dance moves. Shake that booty though. <laughs> what is happening here? This game is weird. Stay away, baby. This is now awkward. Oh, we're digging into the ground. And wait, I'm laying an egg. Oh, all right. That works. There's already an egg here. And now we have lots of fun things to add. I'm thinking that this eye probably needs to be replaced. I like this one a lot. Maybe I don't. It does kind of look similar to the one we have. Maybe this other one's better. Oh yeah, that is better. We also have these fronds, which totally look like the proper items. That's way better than these things, but I kind of want those. I try to turn them and then get them to like lay down on the legs. Oh, that's cool. Okay, go down a little bit more. Now hear me out. Let's remove one of the legs. We're gonna move this one back. We're gonna get arms. We're gonna get arms. This is called the Python. They're huge pipes. I just want small little arms. Why can none of these arms be small? That actually kind of looks more like it. We just need more of those feathery things on here. I mean, we can straight up put feathers on. These are just plant pieces. Definitely getting rid of the spikes. We don't need spikes anymore. What kind of hands can I get? I mean, does that look right? No, we don't have crab hands. These might be all right. If we just make them small, that can seem okay. All right, I'm getting there. Now the problem is with that picture, I have no idea what the back of this thing looks like. So I just put a leaf there to cover it up. So it looks okay. Oh, it's kind of, <laughs> it's not slow at all. I thought it would be. I mean, it looks kind of close to what the AI designed. I feel like we definitely need to work on the paint scheme though. The other problem is we only have very limited amount of paint colors, so. Gotta do the best we can with what we have. That's totally not it. That looks nothing like our creature. But this one kind of does in like an inverted sort of way. Oh yeah, he's goofy. He's weird. I mean, that's something what AI would design. I kind of like the metallic coat of him too. Okay, so we're just gonna hatch and there's an entire fleet of AI created squiggle puffs or whatever it was called. Woo! Oh yeah, you've got weird creepy hands and face tendrils. They're like, yeah, we're gonna take over this planet one species at a time with the rocks clipping in and out of existence. Thank you, 1994, for making the game spore. <laughs> so bro is still really quick and fast. <laughs> he is actually faster than he was before. Oh, he's got like this gliding attack thing. That was cool. I was totally not expecting it, like a jump glide. I kind of want, should we, should we just try? I kind of want to. I know you were my ally before, but I'm totally gonna eat you. Oh my goodness, that omnivore snout is dangerous. I'm sorry, you are my allies, but at least I got your eyes now. So we have that going for us. Anyway, my friends, that'll do it for the squiggle spout. If you enjoyed this video, let me know down below in the comments and keep your stick on the ice. Hopefully we don't like go attack all of our allies and stuff. Bye. And I'd like to thank all of my patrons and channel members, including Keegan H, Ritla Warrior, Kodino, Trent M, General Harris, Teddy Hippius, Dickie J, Ben, Auto Dave, Zarnoff, Maxer, Brow, VC Engineer, Scars Rex, Spencer, Whiskey, My H, Splatter Sex, Doug Rules, Skunk Chess, Brad Dalton, Scanner D, Zane W, Mr. Cripple One, Peyton Blaze, Fuzzy Badge, Missing Sniper, Link Hewitt, Kyler J, Nitro, Nitrox, Eli M, Toxic Wolf, Wyatt Kick.